Hey, JJ. Happy day to you. Well, hey there, Michelle. How are you? Oh, I'm doing really well. How about you, JJ? Well, it's been a good day, but guess what? What? Last night, Pastor Mike got out my old wading pool. <gasps> oh, that sounds like fun, JJ. Well, I have to be honest. I wasn't that excited about it at first. I'm like, come on now. I'm not like a little puppy anymore. I don't need no freaking wading pool. And he said, no, no, no. You come here. It's really hot. And I think you'll like what I've got set up here for you. Oh, what did he do? Well, first of all, he had all my old boats and stuff from the bathtub dug out. Wow, that sounds like fun. Yeah, so they're all floating in there and they're a whole bunch of ice cubes. Ooh, brr, ice cubes. Wasn't it cold? Well, we dogs like it cold. <laughs> Plus they're crunchy, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. So anyway, I'm in there and I, 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 I start having a lot of fun and I'm pouring with cups and I'm getting as high as I can to see if I can bomb my little boats, you know, dropping the water from a long way up. And, and, and then I'm trying to see what's bigger, you know, because some of the cups look like they're different sizes and they're not. They're the same size. Wow. That's some good experimenting, JJ. Yeah, so it was really, really cool. And I just really enjoyed getting ah, comfy yesterday. Oh, you know? and it was a hot day. So that's a good day to be in a pool with some ice cubes. Wow, that sounds like fun, JJ. Well, water is our first clue for our story of the day. Ooh, yeah. tell me more. <laughs> I have some objects here to show you that are the other clues. Are you ready? I do ready. Yes. Clue, clue number two, honey. Ooh, a honeycomb, won't you be my baby? Oh, honeycomb, be my own. <laughs> I love honey. All right, clue number three, a leather belt. Ooh, that's a sore subject around here. <laughs> JJ. No, 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 not that way. No, no, Pastor Mike had to go buy a new belt. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, yes, yes. That sometimes happens, JJ. Yes, yes, he says this, uh, this uh, period of time we're in has to end. He's eating too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, we all are eating a little too much, but that's okay. Yes, it does. All right, so our next clue, sand from the desert. Ooh, let's get some water and make a castle. <laughs> oh, good idea. Good idea. And the next clue, a locust. Oh, they're crunchy with a slightly bitter aftertaste. <laughs> yes. And our final clue, JJ, our final clue is an animal fur, animal Ooh. pelt. And in our story, it's really the pelt of a camel. Oh, well, I'm going to assume the camel wasn't using it anymore. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. So, can you guess our story today? Uh, Paul Bunyan? <laughs> no, that's not a Bible story. A Bible story, JJ. Mm. Would you like me to tell you? I think you're going to have to. Okay. It's the story of John the Baptist. Ooh, tell me more. Well, John the Baptist was a cousin to Jesus. Ooh. Yep. And when John the Baptist was, oh, you know, a young adult, he started doing some very interesting things. Now, mm. he came from a really good family with some money, but he decided to live like he was in poverty. What? He wore an outfit of camel fur, and he went out into the desert, and he lived in the desert, and he ate honey and locusts, and that was it. Oh, my. Yes, yes. And... He lived out there and he talked to God. And you know, John the Baptist had one purpose with his life. And that purpose was to point people to Jesus and to let them know that Jesus was coming. Wow. Did he say like, hey, my cousin's coming and he is going to tell you how to live. <laughs> yes. Yes. John the Baptist was followed by so many people, JJ. People looked at him and said, wow, he dresses like a prophet of the Old Testament. He lives out in the desert so he can talk to God. And his message is so important for us, our lives. And Jesus is coming for us. Wow. You know, sometimes when I'm in the woods, I feel closer to God. Mm, definitely. A lot of times when we go out in nature and our life kind of quiets down and things get calm, we can hear God's messages for us. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. but, but, but let me ask you a question. It's like John the Baptist. It's, it, it's a kind of a funny name. Uh, was that his last name, the Baptist? 
No, it was what they called him because of what he did, JJ. Ooh. So what John would do is he would tell all kinds of people about Jesus and how Jesus was going to show us how to live and he was coming for us. And then what would happen is everybody would decide that they wanted to be part of God's family. So John would take them and dunk them into the water and lift them up again and said, you are baptized and you are now part of God's family. And one day, John was doing this in a, in a, in a pond, and guess who showed up? His was cousin. It? it was, yes. Yes, Jesus himself showed up and said, John, baptize me. And John hesitated at first because he's like, wow, this is Jesus. Who am I to baptize Jesus? But Jesus said, no, I need you to baptize me. And so John dunked him down into the water, and he got up out of the water. And all of a sudden, a dove came, and they heard God's voice said, this is my son, and I love him. And everyone knew that Jesus was there. And that's when Jesus' Jesus's ministry began. Well, that's kind of a miracle. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, wouldn't it be great to be there? Yeah, I, 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 I can't, wow, I can't even imagine a dove coming down and a boy saying, this is my son, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. So John the Baptist, Baptist baptized people, and that's why we call him that. Okay, so now lots of us are baptized, and I think I have a challenge. Oh, a challenge about baptism, do tell. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, I think a lot of the kids will have a picture of their baptism somewhere around, and maybe they could get mom or dad or someone to show them. Oh, that's a great idea. So kids, your challenge of the day is to find a picture of you on your baptism day. I love that, JJ. Yeah, I do too, because most of them aren't going to remember it. They're going to be little tiny babies. <laughs> that's right. You won't remember, but a picture will help you know that you were baptized just like Jesus, and you too are part of God's family. That's a great thing, JJ. That's so cool. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, you have a good afternoon. Find your picture, JJ. All right. I'll do that. All right. We'll see you later. Bye. Hey guys. Bye-bye.